hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so here uh, we simplify this expression without using the calculator or calculator is not allowed in this problem so here we do all of the working with um, uh, with uh, our hand or our mind directly okay so now here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we focus in the left hand side and now we have this is 9 to the power of 7 and we write this 9 to the power of 7 as 9 to the power of 6 plus 1 minus 9 to the power of 6 okay so after this step here uh, we need to apply the nice exponent law and you know that if you have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m times of a to the power of n so here we need to apply this nice exponent law in the uh, first term of here so now we break the exponent of this term and it will be written as 9 to the power of 6 into 9 to the power of 1 minus 9 to the power of 6 okay after this step you see here we have 9 to the power of 6 be the common term so that now we take common 9 to the power of 6 and the remaining terms are so here when you take common 9 to the power of 6 we get 9 only minus here we take common 9 to the power of 6 and we get only 1 okay so further you see here we have 9 to the power of 6 into 9 minus 1 equals to 8 okay so now here uh, we need to find first the value of 9 to the power of 6 but here uh, we need to again simplify this term here we write this 9 equals to 3 square and its exponent is 6 and it is multiplied by 8 so here we use the exponent law so according to this exponent law you see here these two exponents we apply this law here a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n okay so here according to this exponent law we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 3 to the power of 2 times of 6 becomes 12 into 8 okay so this will be 8 here and now in the next step here uh, we need to uh, simplify the terms and now we uh, focus on the exponent of 3 so you see here the exponent of 3 is 12 and we write this 12 as 3 to the power of 6 multiplied by 2 and here you have 8 so now we break this exponent in this form exponent to exponent form so that here we move this 3 to the power of 6 uh, inside the term and we write it as 3 to the power of 6 and its whole square and here we have 8 and now further uh, here uh, we need to find the value of this 3 to the power of 6 so here uh, you can use the traditional way of multiplication in order to find the value of 3 to the power of 6 we know that 3 to the power of 6 means that 3 is multiplied by 6 times okay you multiply 3 by 6 times and now here you see that 3 times of 3 becomes 9, 9, 3 becomes 27, 27 uh, multiplied by 3 equals to 81. Okay, you easily multiply, you easily multiply these numbers. So when you multiply 27 by 3, you get 81 and 81 multiplied by 3 uh, is equals to 243. So 243 is multiplied by 3 then you easily get here this is 729 okay so this is the traditional way of multiplication you can multiply all of these numbers. So now we replace this 3 to the power of 6 equals to 729 uh, so uh, we write it here 729 square multiplied by 8. So here we need to break this 729 and we write this 729 as 700 plus 29 and its whole square and it is multiplied by 8. Okay, so further uh, here we need a nice square identity and you know about this identity if we have 
a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so here we apply this nice square identity to the first term uh, and now we write this first term as this is 700 square plus 2 times of our a is 700 and our b is 29 and plus our b square so here our b is 29 square and this whole term a is multiplied by 8 this 8 okay so now here uh, in order to find the square of the 700 uh, you can just see here uh, the square of 7 is 49 and you double these zeros you have two zeros you put the four zeros here and now similarly uh, 2 times of 700 becomes uh, 1400 and it is multiplied by 29 and here you see that 29 square is equals to 841 so we write this here 841 and it is multiplied by 8 okay so after this step here we need to multiply these two numbers and we write it as 494 times of 0 plus when you multiplied 1400 by 29 you will get here 40600 and plus this is 841 and it is multiplied by 8 and now in the next step here we need to add uh, all of these four numbers by traditional way of addition and you write it as four nine and four zero and we add this zero zero six zero four and one four eight so here we add all three numbers so you get one four eight plus six fourteen and we carry one and this one is here nine plus four thirteen we carry 1 4 plus 1 5 so we add these numbers and you get here 5 3 1 4 4 1 and it is multiplied by this 8 okay so now here we need to multiply this number with 8 so that here we uh, multiply this number by traditional way of multiplication you can see here so first we multiply uh, 8 by 1 so 8 1 the 8 and 8 for the 32 we write 2 and carry 3 8 for the 32 32 plus 3 35 we write 5 and carry 3 8 1 the 8 plus 3 11 we write 1 and carry 1 8 3 the 24 plus 1 25 we write 5 carry 2 and 8 5 the 40 40 plus 2 becomes 42 okay so finally we have the simplified form of the given algebraic expression is 4251528 okay this is the our final simplified form of the given algebraic expression and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos